Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. More than six weeks after Jane Bashera was found dead, handyman Joe Gens is under arrest for her murder, a crime to which he has admitted to police. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 5. This is a story that was breaking. You saw yeah. first at 4. Joe Gens was already scheduled to appear in court for a child custody hearing, but sheriff's deputies were waiting there to arrest him. As you saw, Local 4 cameras were rolling as Gens was led into a room and read his rights. Our team of reporters is covering all sides of this story. Let's start things off here uh, right there in the middle with Defender Mark Santia in Mount Clemens where deputies took Gens into custody a short time ago. Mark. Well, Devin, according to several sources, Gens told police time and time again he killed Jane Bashera. Today, a major break in the case, and defender cameras are rolling. Joe Gens shows up to court for what he thinks is a child custody hearing. Joe steps on the elevator with local four photographer Cesar Gonzalez. Second floor, straight to the second floor. Second to the left. Once on the second floor, Joe is immediately whisked away to a room. Listen carefully to what happens next. Inside the room, Joe is handcuffed behind his back, his property seized. That's about time. Steve Vergona convinced that? Joe to turn himself into police weeks ago. Today, Steve dropped Joe off at court and says Joe knew the arrest was coming and Joe was scared. You're scared. Real scared, panicking. And why is that? Because, because he doesn't know what's going to happen. He's scared. Law enforcement sources say Joe told police he killed Jane Bashera because he was forced at gunpoint. Over the last few weeks, investigators say they found evidence to support Joe's story. And now, Joe is under arrest. Right now, Joe Gens is in custody. An interesting twist. This is Gross Point Park's case. They say they have the lead in this investigation. But there's two investigators from Kim Worthy's office, Prosecutor Worthy's investigators who made the arrest here in Macomb County today as Joe Gens thought he was going to a child custody hearing. Again, right now, Gens is in custody and could face charges and face a judge within 72 hours. Reporting live in Mount Clemens, Mark Santia, Defenders. Just a quick oh, question. Mark, did Joe Gens have any idea that he was going to be taken into custody today and charged with murder? You know, uh, t talking, to, talking to Steve, uh, who, Joe Gens' his friend, Steve said they knew something was up. They got several phone calls from different investigators, and Joe knew it was just a matter of time. Uh, he told, this is what Steve said, Joe knew it was just a matter of time before he was going to be arrested. So they did have some suspicion that it would happen today. Uh, Joe had heard that it was okay if he turned himself into the East Point Police Department. He ultimately decided to walk in here to the Macomb County Circuit Court, and that's where he was arrested, Carmen. Uh, now, the other question mark that I had for you, it, when, he, when Steve said that Joe has been afraid, did you take that to mean that Joe is afraid for his legal future and what's ahead, or is Joe fearful for his own safety given the admission that he had made to Gross Point Park Police? That's a good question, Devin, and the answer is both. Uh, according right. to Joe's friends, they say he fears for his safety um, because while he was out, they said he was very scared for his safety. He didn't know if somebody would come after him. Uh, he said he had key information that implicated other people in this crime. He was scared for his safety. He was also scared, he said, for his future, what that would mean. He says he only cares about one thing in his life, and that one thing is his daughter. He says he wants to see his daughter. He knows, according to several sources, he knows he has to do time, he says, for killing Jane Bashera. Uh, he was very worried about what his legal future held, but the sense, talking to Joe's friends, Joe was much more frightened about his safety, his personal safety, mm -hmm. because of what information he held and who he could implicate yeah. next in this crime. And right. isn't that interesting because when Bob Bashera was asked about Joe's arrest today, he said he was relieved, relieved because was, a dangerous yeah. man was off the streets. All right, Mark, we will let you get out of the rain and you uh, continue to investigate what's going on there. Uh,
because as far as we know, Joe's still uh, right there. Uh, uh, now, one of the big questions, though, that remains with this arrest is, as Carmen just mentioned, what does this mean now for Jane's husband, Bob Bashir? Our BC O'Neillieri just spoke with Bob Bashir's attorney, David Grimm, and she joined us now with what he had to say. BC? Carmen, David Grimm tells me that he got off the phone just a short time ago with his client, Bob Bashera. And when I asked Grimm his feelings on this arrest in this case, and he basically said, it's about time. When I asked him about his conversation with his client, Bob Bashera, he said that Bashera is feeling a sense of relief. Take a listen. I talked to him moments ago, and he feels a profound sense of relief. And not so much for himself, but especially for his children knowing that Joe Gens is off the street. And Grimm tells me that right now, Bob Bashera is at home. He's receiving a lot of calls, as you can imagine. And I'm also told that his daughter is on her way back to Metro Detroit from Ann Arbor, where she attends college. I asked Grimm, I said, have you heard from the prosecutor's office in regards to your client, Bob Bashera? And he says, as of now, no. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, I am BC on O'Leary, Local 4. All right, thank you, BC. So the question now is where do things go from here now that there has been an arrest in this case? Let's bring in Local 4 Defender Karen Drew, who is live in our newsroom along with our legal expert Todd Flood to give us some perspective on uh, what we've seen unfold here today. Karen? Well, Carmen and Devin, thanks so much, and thanks, Todd, for joining us. Thank you. Give us some perspective in terms of now what happens next for Joe Gens. What could he potentially be charged with? Well, first-degree murder probably is the first thing that's going to be he's going to be charged with. Potentially second degree, but realistically first degree. Second thing, if there was someone that he did this with, conspiracy to commit murder, uh, and then he's going to face the arraignment. He'll be arraigned pretty much within the next 72 hours. Now, obviously, he meant, we talk about these pieces of the puzzle that we're putting together, and some right. of the things he said has now been proven by surveillance tape, etc. One of the pieces is that he was paid by Bob Bashera. What do we look at as what could potentially happen to Bob Bashera or, quote, a second individual involved in this murder? What could they right. face? To be careful with that. Right, because uh, you don't want to... Right. The second individual, well, obviously solicitation, uh, solicitation to commit murder, uh, conspiracy to commit murder, and he aided and abetted whatever he or she may have done, that second individual, to assist Joe in committing this crime. So that person faces three life offenses as well. So the next 24 to 72 hours, these are pretty critical in terms of what can happen in the case with uh, Joe Gens and perhaps a second individual? Yeah, it, it, first he's going to be arraigned. Uh, he'll be arraigned probably in Gross Point Park. Judge uh, uh, Jarbo will be on duty this weekend. Maybe it'll happen on Monday. And then from there, he's probably going to try to work something out. Uh, he came in, he confessed. He's probably trying to work some deal out and to go after whomever he worked with. Right, so this could be a deal-making weekend, per se, on it, Joe Gens's side. It could be, side. it could be, but realistically, it may take some time. Um, but they're going to want to get to the second person quickly. The prosecutor's office, as you can see, they went out there as soon as they got the results back, they went back and arrested Joe. So they're going to try to squeeze Joe, I think, pretty quick. Okay. Well, we appreciate your time and your perspective. Thank you. All right. Carmen, Devin, back to you. And we will have much more ahead on the arrest of Joe Gentz and the murder of Jane Bashera. Let me quickly pass along the Detroit News is quoting Steve Vergona, who mm -hmm. uh, we heard from earlier as Joe's friend, as saying that they are already offering him a plea bargain. That's according to his friend Steve. Uh, we've got much more on the information on the arrest coming up. Uh, more background on the case, that's all at clickondetroit.com, right on the homepage in the special coverage box.